Okay, hi everybody. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing the You're Not Good Enough book tag, which I don't like the title. I'm sorry, Chammy. I'm not. I don't like the uh, name of that, but anywho, it's your tag. Um, this was created by Chammy at Read Like Wildfire and Becca at Becca the Book Reviewer. And I was tagged. Uh, they're the ones that created it. Uh, I was tagged uh, by Abby. Abby Lee C. The Book Lover. Thank you, Abby, for the tag. Hi. There's 15 rounds in this one, and I think you only um, picked two names on this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, question one is, you only have one more spot on the Spelling Bee team. Who would you pick to complete your team? Let's see, we got Jocelyn, uh, Fairchild from the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, and Maya Roberts from the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Um... I would pick Jocelyn because I probably think she's might be a better speller. I'm just basically basing it on the fact that Jocelyn's older than uh, Maya, but I don't know what their spelling abilities of either of those characters, but you know. I know, Maddie, quit talk, taking this so seriously. Question two. Both characters want to kill you. Which one would kill you first so you, which one would you kill first? So you have a better chance of surviving. I wouldn't kill anybody. I would just knock them unconscious. But anyway, for the sake of the tag, I'll pick up two names. <laughs> okay, we got Clary Frey from the Mortal Instruments. And Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instruments. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Um, I can't kill either of those characters, even if it's not real. I'm just gonna skip that one. I thought I could do it if it was like certain other characters, but um, question three: You're on the Bachelor Bachelorette, and you're down to those two characters. Which one are you going to give a rose? Oh wait, you're down to two characters. Which one are you going to give to the rose to? Okay, I got two. I got no, no. I'm gonna redo it. I just pulled those. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, we've got Edward Cullen from Twilight and Katie from the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I would give the rose to Edward for reasons. Anyway, uh, question. Four is you've been chosen for the Hunger Games. Who would most likely volunteer in your place? <laughs> Wait, I picked too many. Okay. And my options are Gail, <laughs> Quinky Dinky, Gail from the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And Emma Costairs from Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I think, um, Emma would, I think they both would, but I'm going to choose Emma as the character who would volunteer to take my place in the Hunger Games. Okay. Oh, I'm skipping question five because... I'll read you it and then I'll you'll see why I'm not found this question. Sorry, Cammy and Becca. Sorry. Um, you're stranded on an island. Which character would you sacrifice to engage in cannibal cannibalism? And I would rather die than eat another human being. So, <laughs> would it happen? Question six. Since I'm skipping five, you're the next DC Marvel superhero with your own TV show, of course. 
was your sidekick? Now let's pick two names. Okay, we got Jordan from The Morbid Instruments by Cassandra Clare and Jace from The Morbid Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Uh, I don't think Jace would be anybody's sidekick, but if I had to have some, a partner to help me fight crime, I would pick Jace over Jordan. So there you go. Um. Okay, question seven. You're the manager of an avocado admiring company. Who would you fire for lack of communication? Yeah, communication. Yeah, okay, there's communication skills. Wow, that just was ironic, huh? Um, and plus another irony. I don't like avocados, but anyway, I'm just a manager, so I don't have to eat the products. Uh, so we got one. Wait, what? Wait, stop it. Uh, who would I fire for lack of communi communication skills? Myself. No, I've got Emmett Cullen from Twilight and Tessa Gray from the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. I don't think Emmett would have any problem communicating, so I'm going to fire Tessa because maybe she would get tongue-tied. I don't know. Uh, so... Question eight, or category eight, whatever you want. Call it, you're just finished a book. What's your favorite character dies? Which character is most likely to comfort you? Okay, I've got two names, I think. We've got Link Wood from the Violet Eden chapters by Jessica Shervington. And we got Julian Blackthorne from... Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. <sighs> hmm. They're both nice guys. I think Julian. I would just pick Julian. Because I think he'd be a good friend. Not that Link when he would, but... <laughs> what? Anyway. That was a hard one because I actually picked both for that. Number nine. Ugh. It's high school. Who would most likely be part of the popular clique? Okay. We got Simon from the Mortal Instruments. And we have Magnus Bane from the Mortal Instruments. Magnus would also be in a popular clerk. That was an obvious one. Um, number 10. The, the day has arrived. You're finally a year older. Which is kind of funny since I just had my birthday a few, you know, a little over a week ago. Who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? Okay, we've got two here. We've got Isabel Lightwood from the Morble Instruments by Cassandra Clare. And we got Marine from the Morble Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I think Marine would forget your birthday because she's all about herself. Just saying. Red. You know what I mean? Okay. Number 11. You just found an upcoming booktube. Uh, upcoming, upcoming booktube star. Who would most likely, who would it most likely be? Wow, I'm just, I'm using my words really well tonight. Da, 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 da. Okay, oh, you go back in there. We got Megan Chase from the Iron Baby series by Julie Kagawa, and we have Carlisle Cullen from Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. Hmm. I 
I actually think it would be Carlisle because he's smart, he reads a lot, and he's really charming and sweet and kind. So I'd pick Carlisle to be the next book to um, star. I think Megan wouldn't even know what to do with herself, but anyway. Um, number 12, sleepover time! Unfortunately, you can only invite one person. Who would you invite? Please, that'd be good. Please, that'd be good. Okay. Oh, okay. No. You. Okay. We got Rose Hathaway from The Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. And Tamlin. <laughs> from According to Mr. Uh, the... Of course, Arnold and Roses series by Sarah James. <laughs> Neither one of these characters would go to a sleepover. Uh -huh. But for the interest of this tag, and I don't want to skip all the questions, I'm going to pick Rose. Only because I think she's only one to be more likely to actually come if you invited her. Okay. Uh, number 13. Bam! You're pregnant. Who's the father? <laughs> You've got one, got two. Okay. Let me just make sure they're both boys, because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Oh, no, we're gonna have to read. Took a second name. No. Nope. Bear with me for a moment. Ah, okay. Okay. The father of the baby is either Amun from the Reawakened Trilogy by Colleen Hook or Dmitry Belikov from Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Both, I love both these guys. Why? Um, I'm going to pick Dimitri. Because if you read the book. Anyway. Books. Um, but as an added note, they both. I picked them both if I could. But, you know. Okay. Number 14, you've just written a super important text. Who would see it and not reply? Rude little bugger. Okay, we got Billy Black from um, Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer, and we have Rosalie from the Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. Obviously, Rosalie would be the one to ignore your text. I mean, I'm just going to say hypothetically, Billy knows how to text. Uh, in this scenario, last one of the tag. You've just woken up, and it's time for breakfast. Your mom's been replaced by who? Mom doesn't make me breakfast, but in this tag, she does. Because uh, I have roommates, and I'm an adult, but anyway. Um, anyway, let's just pick two names. Okay, we got two. We got Charlie Swan from um, Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer, and Clary Frey from The Mortal Instruments. By Santa Clara. Well, we all know Charlie can't cook if you've read the Twilight Saga. So I'm going to say Clary Frey will be making me breakfast. Um, that's it for the tag. Uh, again, it was the You're Not Good Enough tag. Created by uh, Chammy and Becca. I will link their channels down below. Have a good night and peace.